YouTube, it's Real Rob, boy, back with another video. See, look, don't, don't go for, the, look, don't go for a beautiful face. Don't go in search of finding somebody based off their physical appearance. Don't go based up, don't go in search of finding somebody or trying to get involved with somebody because of their physical appearance. Don't go for a pretty face. Don't go for somebody that look good. Regardless of, regardless of if you look good or regardless if you know your worth, don't go for somebody, don't go in search of somebody just because they look good or don't try to get involved with somebody based off their physical appearance, meaning based off a person's physical attraction. Don't go in search of an individual or go i don't go in search of finding somebody or just trying to build or grow with somebody due to a fact that that person just look good no you don't need somebody that's beautiful you need somebody who loves themselves you need to go after someone who loves themselves you need to go in search of someone who has boundaries and somebody who values themselves somebody who somebody whom whom listens to you deeply some, someone who has boundaries that are realistic instead of unrealistic. Someone who actually communicates with you instead of beating around the bush. You need somebody who can feed you emotionally, mentally, and spiritually. See, a lot of people gonna go for an individual that they deem that they deem that's physical that's that's beautiful physically see we talking about physical beauty right now because this people don't go we live in a society now where people don't go based off what's on the inside anymore they don't go based off what's on the inside they go based off what's on the outside meaning they're not checking for you based off how valuable and how much of a good person that you really are no they just some people literally is going to try to get involved with you just because you look good just because you look good. Some people go, we live in a time now where a lot of people, they're going based off physical appearance instead of the soul. And that's going to be their downfall. Because that's lust. That's not love. That's lust. When you just deal with somebody just based off, this is my thing. If somebody, if you dealing with somebody or if you know somebody that dealing with somebody just because that person look good, they're not displaying love. They displaying lust. Y'all, a lot of people don't even, that's in relationships or just, or that's even married. You don't even know, you don't even love this person. You only married or, or got involved with this individual because you look good. That's not love. That's lust. And this is an uncomfortable truth, but a lot of people ain't ready to come to the come out and just say because a lot of people not gonna come out and tell you that the reason behind them falling for somebody or the reason why they got involved with somebody is because of their physical appearance they're not gonna tell you that because they don't want to let you and other people know that they are lusters instead of lovers you ask somebody right now why you with somebody deep down they know they you deep down they know what attracted why they are attracted to this person the only reason why they are attracted to this person because this person is this per person is beautiful physically but the person but you could be dumb you can be dumb this is the thing but they're not looking they're they're going to ignore the fact that this person that's that's complete that's they're going to ignore this is the thing see when you're a fit when you're beautiful physically when you physically beautiful people going to ignore certain shit about you because you got that halo effect like they not going okay i'll let robert say this because i ain't gonna let this other dude talk to me like this but i'll let robert say this to me because rob he look good to me that's how people think let's just dudes do the same way man i ain't even gonna lie bro i don't mess with i don't like i don't like certain such but man she look good though see that's y'all problem y'all too fixated people too fixated on what a person look like instead of actual and instead of actual getting to know that person and that's y'all downfall that's not love that's lust people ain't ready to talk people ain't gonna admit to you that the reason why they messing with somebody is because they look good they don't want you to know they don't want people to look at them and see them for who they really are which is lusters they're not lovers they're lusters see real love is when you go after somebody who loves themselves who genuinely actually loved themselves, who took out the time to actually to actual get to know who they was as an individual and, and took out time to heal 
from whatever they went through in the past. They took out time to themselves to heal so that they can become better as a person, so that they'll know how to love an individual if somebody was to ever decide that they want to get involved with them. You got to go for somebody who loves themselves first. You got to go in search of individuals who know they worth. Because let me tell you something, if you love yourself, if you know your worth, you the most gorgeous individual on the planet for the simple fact that you have internal beauty. You possess, when you genuinely love yourself and value yourself and, and, and respect yourself and hold yourself to a high standard, you are the most gorgeous individual walking this planet Earth for the simple fact that you possess beauty that's internal. You possess internal beauty. And let me tell you something, because your beauty is on the inside, it's going to manifest on, it's going to manifest on unto what's on the outside meaning you already the most dangerous the most gorgeous individual walking planet earth due to the fact that you love yourself and can't nobody outside of you tell you otherwise because you know who you is as an individual that's how it's supposed to be point blank period look internal beauty is undeniable internal meaning you can you can look good on the outside all you want to but if you ain't got that internal beauty if you can't feed my soul get out you 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 really you don't even look good i mean i don't no disrespect i, I don't you what what can i learn from you what can i gain from you how can we grow when you don't have nothing to offer but looks exactly quality over quantity you can't tell people that these days because they don't folks don't listen but it ain't it ain't for them look folks too busy looking for somebody that look good beside them instead of looking for somebody who is good for them overall look consistency and inconsistencies don't go together self-love and insecurities don't go together righteousness and wickedness don't go together discipline and laziness don't go together you cannot be with somebody if they are not compatible with you. And most relationships fail. Most relationships fail. And a lot of people don't know how to go about relationships. But the main reason why relationships fail is because the lack of compatibility and the lack of reciprocation. Point blank period. You didn't just, you didn't, you sitting up here thinking all this time you dealing with somebody who reciprocating the same energy because, but this the thing, you're going to have to, you're going to know a person is reciprocating the same energy as you based off action. See, you got to pay attention to people's actions. Action speaks louder than words. You are, you, you, they told you what you wanted to hear. You like, okay, but now you're looking at their actions. And once you come to the realization that they action, they words and they actions not aligned, it's go, it, I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. And I'm not coming back because you wasting my time. And I, I'm not gonna, I cannot allow myself and allow somebody like you to waste my time for the simple fact that I'm actually somebody. And I know my worth. This may peace and blessing be upon you. You 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 don't speak with action, so I'm gonna have to let you go. And this is why most majority of people in relationship. This is why people relationships is declining because people don't take action behind their words, and people stop doing what they people stop doing the good things in the beginning in the beginning that they did to get that individual because they become comfortable what people stop doing people stop cherishing and valuing a person once they get in good with the person people do the complete opposite of love they they do the complete opposite because they don't know how to love and they don't know how they don't love themselves so they cannot love anybody because they don't have the bit they don't possess the ability to love themselves you can't love somebody if you don't love yourself you go for somebody that look good all you want to. You can think you look good. Let me tell you something. Insecurities doesn't discriminate. I don't care how good you look. You know how many girls that look, look good that I've had conversations with that are complete insecure dudes. I'm talking about, I'm talking to dudes. Man, bro, this, she a bad man. She look good, but I'm having conversations with her and, 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 and trying to see is she if is she good up here. And, I'm, and, I'm, and, and, you, and this woman is talking about a whole bunch of nothing. You ain't doing, you insecure. I can see you, but can you see yourself though? Exactly. You got to love yourself and you got to go, you got to go in search of somebody who loves themselves. So that person can know how to love you. And on top of that, people too busy trying to change the, the their significant other. They're too busy trying to change their spouse, meaning 
Look, let me tell you something. People too busy trying to change because some people have a mindset. Some people, this will people, people who ignore the people who ignore red flags are dumb because they feel as though they can change. Meaning, you know how dumb it was if I was with a woman and if and, a, and if she display and if I'm looking at the red flags and, and this woman literally and if I'm I'm ignoring the red flags. You know how dumb that I would look just ignoring those red flags where you know what maybe i'll change her maybe she just flirted with another dude she just gave another dude a hug you know what maybe i'll change her i'll go to the i'll go home and probably i want to talk to her and tell her i just i don't want you to do it anymore no you can't that's that's weak thinking you can't change somebody you can't change somebody people gonna do what they want to do anyway so if you seeing red flags don't have the mindset to where you can change that person to where this person won't present red flags anymore you're dumb because you're gonna lose yourself in the process you should once a person show red flags you you need to be gone you need to pack your stuff and go point blank period once you see multiple red flags go you stay there, you're going to hurt yourself. This is why people get hurt. This is my thing. You, you, you shouldn't have to change somebody because you, you don't have to change an individual who holds themselves accountable for their actions. You don't have to you don't have to change individuals who have more who who maneuver based off integrity, who have ma maneuver based off morals and principles and who love themselves and who is actually disciplined within themselves. You don't have to change what's real because what is real is real. You shouldn't have to change anybody. You shouldn't even try to change anybody. You shouldn't have to teach anybody. It's either love. Look, it, it's either they know how to love or they don't. Because we ain't got time to teach somebody out of love for us. We still trying to, we already dealing with, we already constantly teaching ourselves how to love us. You got to come healed. It's, look, it's either you come healed or you don't. Because I have the power to heal you, but this is the thing. You got to want to heal yourself. You got to want to heal your. Before you meet me, you should already be on the path to healing. To boom, we can just, okay, boom. I met you, you was on your path to healing, but it ain't like you just came to me trying to get me to heal you. You should have already been on your path to healing. Another thing, people got to understand something. You have to accept people's flaws also. See, a lot of people don't understand how important it is and what makes a person genuinely happy. All they want you to do is accept their flaws. Flaws is beautiful. Flaws is what makes a person Flaws is beautiful. Like you have to accept an individual, an individual for who they are, no matter what. That's what true, genuine love is. You, you if that's what I'm saying. You have to accept people' flaws and all because nobody's perfect. Nobody is perfect, and because nobody is perfect, that's what's beautiful. That's what makes humanity beautiful because nobody is perfect. Because it gives us a chance to relate. But at the end of the day, if you perfect, let me show, give me the formula. I want the formula right now. I want the potion to the um, to the perfection formula. I have yet found an individual that was perfect. Nobody's perfect, but that's beautiful. Because that is what true, genuine love is about. It's simple. You just need somebody. It's, it's so simple. All you do is just need somebody who loves, cherish, values and respect you and respect your boundaries and respect the and respect the type of person that you are but not only respect the type of person that you are accept you as a person see this is the thing a lot of people are dealing with people a lot of people are in relationships but you got to understand something they a lot of people are in relationships right now with a person that don't even that don't even accept them because they too busy trying to find out flaws about that person instead of loving that person. That's what breaks people heart the most when you when this per when you when you love when you genuinely seek love from people and they try to get involved with you just to snatch that love away from you. That's why people are afraid to get in relationships because they've been hurt by people that they trusted the most. You need, people need intimacy. Intimacy doesn't mean sex. Intimacy means to know. Intimacy doesn't mean sexual. People get it confused. Look, your relationship should bring you peace, not problems. Point blank period. People should bring you, if, if, uh, if an individual is not bringing you peace, if, if your soul is, is giving you, if somebody is not bringing you peace, you got to let them go.
You got to, you got to understand something. You got to find somebody who loves themselves because an individual that loves themselves can love you. You can't be, you can't be in a relationship with somebody who, when you love, you can't, you can't be, I love myself, but I'm dating somebody who don't love they self. That doesn't go together. But that's what most people do nowadays. It's going to always be that one person that's in a relationship that's going to break the chain. I mean, it's always that one person, whether that's the male or female, vice versa. It's always that one individual that love they self. And it's always that one individual that don't love they self. And an individual that don't love they self throw the relationship off course. Due to the fact that there's, due to the fact that they don't want to love themselves. No, they don't want to love themselves. They was never taught how to love themselves, and I don't care if you was never taught how to love yourself because I'm not going to teach you. That's something you should have wanted to learn on your own. Relationships fail because people don't. People do not. I repeat, people do not practice self love, self discipline, self preservation. People don't. You don't even pray. A relationship, a, a relationship that stays together. I mean, prays together, stays together. People, y'all don't. God not even in the center of some of these uh, people. Relate when God not the center of your relationship, it's over. Point blank, period. It's over. It's over. That's what I'm saying. It's over. It's over. It's just something to think about. You don't need somebody. This is the thing. You don't need somebody who's going to put up with you. You need somebody who going to accept you and love you for you. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Y'all probably wonder why I'm sweating. Y'all already know what the deal is. But look, this is just a quick little message, man. Stay blessed.